Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to Soccer Band, the RPG, episode 51. Last time out, we'd uh, managed to solve a couple of puzzles, move on to a new area. And uh, so we're on to this one now. And... Already looking at this... I can see I made a great mistake. So the one at the top is going to actually have to come down. So let's think about what we're actually going to do. Do something like this. Move this one up. Still walk around there. That's gonna wanna come down. The idea here is I'm gonna replace that one. Sort of. A bit like this. Maybe even bring it down. I made a grave mistake. I made a grave mistake. So I was on the verge there of creating a puzzle killer. We've seen enough of those in this playthrough to last us a lifetime. Can't push that one together. That would have to go there. Oh man, I'm making too many mistakes. Alright, let's try and settle in a bit. Settle in. This one comes down. That one goes across. No, nope, that one doesn't go across. Can't have two together on the rails. that won't work. I need to be able to come round here. See, my idea is I'm going to utilise the space on the other side of this fence here. Do that, I need to bring that down further. So, I think I'm pretty okay to put that there. That's not though. Now I've lost that. All right. Maybe I'll position this one first instead. Just to get rid of that one. Oh, but then putting that there just blocks me from doing that. Uh, shouldn't be a problem, actually. Shouldn't be a problem, so I can still get round. I'm going to open up this other area here. To let me get round. Uh, I could avoid that. Doesn't matter. Okay, so then I do this. So I can push this one, this top one down to where I'm stood right now. I can't put that there because, yeah, it does block, which stops me from doing and putting it in that position that I wanted it to. Alright, so. Learning, learning. We 
we are learning lots. Which is still not the right thing to do. Alright, I still get around. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, so... How does that benefit me if at all? Maybe I need two across here. In which case I have just shot myself in the foot. So if I had, let's, let's imagine I had two there. That one wasn't there, I could push that one across. Okay, so the new strategy, the game plan. Let's try and get two of them over here. So I can still navigate around. Push these across. This one can come down. Still get round. So that one goes to there. That one goes to there. So now on this side. I have got two that I can push in myself. Um, sorry, just adjusting audio a bit. I don't know if it's too loud. So. Do I put one here now? I need this area here on this side to navigate these, don't I? So let's commit to this.
this isn't me committing to anything, is it? It's just me just being really tentative about things. I... That's not right. Because I, I won't be able to get the last one in. So that then leads the question. Do I need to use this to push these down? So what I maybe should have done is this one should be here. start again. So, bring this one down. This one goes around here. Push it into there. To which we then take the next one up. down and get these into position now on this side okay so my idea was one in here do I need to put this here though first so let's imagine we got one here the next one comes up to there I could then walk around to there that would push it Let's try it with that in place. Now you push this one. That's it. I think I've done it. I think I did it. I know it's not very descriptive to my solution pro process there, but um, yeah, I did it. it. All right, let's move on. To the next puzzle shall we so we have seven blocks to position here uh, i can't bring anything in down this side so this is going to be for movement for me around and about i guess so blocking that off early isn't going to benefit us at all oh sorry it's, it's eight sorry and had to guess, I would say we want to free up this passage here as well. So nothing's going to come in at the top. Nothing's so nothing's going to come in at the top. We have an area here that we can get around and maneuver things. Okay, interesting. 
So let's try and um, see if we can't start putting some pieces together to the puzzle, shall we? That's not going to work because we need to come down. And that's just broken everything. Okay. Probably not the best idea just to block everything off straight away. don't want to push that down because that's going to block off the path through. don't want to push that one down because it's going to block off the path there, but I could do that perhaps. Push that down to here. Nope, that's going to mess everything up. I feel like this one should be too difficult though because there is actually limited movement. The only way out here is now do this, but then that's going to block everything in at the top. There's actually really limited movement that you can actually do without trapping blocks in, so. Yeah, based on, based on that, like, th logic, it shouldn't be too difficult. It shouldn't be in the keyword. this top area. But it's how I do that without trapping myself and just generally killing everything. So I've done that now, I've killed everything. What I need to do is I think remove the top block, top left, and then use like the top entry here to push everything in. Then I can walk around and push it down into position. That's what I feel like I need to do. Obviously that traps everything in. So I need to be able to get this one out first. That's the that's the big, big not problem. I push that to there. can move this block. Okay, so now that gives me the way into here. So now I have that. Let's 
see if this will work. now I can't get round here. I can't get round there to position the last block. Also there's a little bit of a observation there to be had. You wouldn't be able to do that, you'd have to push that one around like that. But yeah. Just that last block, which is the stumbling point for me at the minute, guys. Make sure you come back in the next episode where we will hopefully solve this one. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I've been Oki. You've been awesome. See ya.